Last week on Raw, Kevin Owens with yet another successful WWE Championship defense. But moments after, he was met with the emergence of the Second City Saint CM Punk. An odd situation continues to develop between those two superstars. Unfortunately for Kevin Owens, it went from bad to worse. An ambush from the Judgment Days, Prince Finn Balor, and as for CM Punk, met from behind by the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest, laid out with a South of Heaven that has now led us to the matchup that kicks things off in moments here on Monday Night Raw. It is a massive tag team contest between the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, as they take on the odd duo of CM Punk and the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. And of course, we are on the road to the O2 Arena in London, England. Two weeks from Saturday at the Money in the Bank. Who will be the first to qualify for the women's side of the affairs? Tonight, Tiffany Stratton, one-on-one -on -one with the EST, Bianca Belair. And as for the men's side, who will be the first to punch their ticket to the United Kingdom as Dijak goes one-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. Money in the Bank qualifying matches begin right here tonight in Greensboro. And also tonight, for the first time since Saturday night, May the 4th, Roman Reigns is back in a WWE ring. And what is on the mind of the Tribal Chief? With the ever-looming issues between the Judgment Day and Roman Reigns' family and the Usos and Solo Sokoa, rumors would address that Roman Reigns is here to speak his mind on those issues here tonight. But we kick things off from the legendary Greensboro Coliseum with a massive tag team affair. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Maribel, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, the WWE Champion, Kevin Owens. Well, Kevin Owens has been keeping up a busy schedule as of late. Two weeks ago here on Raw, went one-on-one -on -one with the Prince Finn Balor. Just a few nights later, successfully defending his title at the King of the Ring against Seth freaking Rollins. And as you saw in the highlights last week, turning away the challenge of Big Bronson Reed, only for that celebration to be cut short on behalf of the Judgment Day. Owens and Punk have been in the crosshairs of the black and purple unit over the last several weeks. All the while, CM Punk and Kevin Owens have continued to have some awkward interactions to say the least. And you gotta believe it all revolves around CM Punk's desires to challenge Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship. Punk obviously coming up short. Less than 10 days ago in the finals of the King of the Ring Tournament. If CM Punk wants a shot at the title, he's gonna have to find another route. But first things first, put your egos aside and handle the common enemy in the World Tag Team Champions of Damian Priest and Finn Balor. As the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. CM Punk has confronted Kevin Owens inside the squared circle, backstage in the locker room. Owens has confronted CM Punk. Punk shoved him out of the way a number of weeks ago. At the end of the day, these two combustible elements are gonna explode. Eventually, you gotta imagine the WWE Championship will be on the line. But tonight, CM Punk and Kevin Owens need to put those ever-looming issues aside. They need to put the WWE Championship in the back of their mind and try to take out the men that laid them out seven nights ago right here on Raw. Damian Priest and Finn Balor continuing to make a lot of enemies. The Judgment Day have never been afraid for the blood to be on their hands. Finn Balor laying out Kevin Owens. Priest with the South of Heaven to CM Punk tonight. The odd couple tries to turn away the tag team champions. And that is certainly a task easier said than done. 
They have put the Usos on the shelf. They have put Solo Sokoa on the shelf. And now Finn Balor and Damian Priest look to disrupt Monday Night Raw that much more. And a combined weight of 439 pounds. The World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. The three-time World Tag Team Champions approach the squared circle seven nights before they defend those tag team titles against Bubba Ray and Devon live next Monday at the Great American Bash edition of Raw. But tonight, Balor and Priest, they made their bed. Now they gotta sleep in it. Kevin Owens and CM Punk looking to exact some revenge. You know, this all started really when CM Punk eliminated Dominic Mysterio from the King of the Ring tournament last month here on Raw. Finn Balor attacking CM Punk. Kevin Owens arriving on the scene. Then what we saw happen last week. At the end of the day, a lot of combustible elements, a lot of egos here on Monday Night Raw, and you are looking at a pair of World Tag Team Champions who along with Dominic and Rhea have all intention purposes of taking over Monday Night. Uh, here we go. What a way to kick things off in the Greensboro Coliseum. Kevin Owens and Finn Balor locking horns once more. Owens turned away Balor in one-on-one -on -one action two weeks ago. And that pick your poison, Seth Rollins choosing Finn Balor to go up against the WWE Champion on that night. And what you saw last week, Balor getting the best of Kevin Owens weakened after his matchup with the big Brunson Reed. And of course, 48 hours removed from another title defense against Seth freaking Rollins at the King of the Ring. Said it before, we'll say it again. Owens has been keeping up a very busy schedule here on Monday nights. It's one thing to be hurt, it's a whole other thing to be injured. Kevin Owens obviously not injured, but certainly hurt, and has got to be feeling the effects of all the wars he has been in over the WWE Championship as of late. Luckily for Owens, a chance to rest and recuperate, hopefully, if he can get the tag to CM Punk. But right now, the punishment of the Judgment Day, Damian Priest, is in firm control. Kevin Owens and CM Punk have stood across from each other, not between the bells, but certainly outside of it on numerous occasions over the last month and change here on Monday Night Raw. I am sure CM Punk wants an opportunity at the WWE Championship, but first things first, these two men got to turn away this ominous presence known as the Judgment Day. Priest just leveling Kevin Owens with a couple of shots there. Going for a boot, nobody home. And Owens going for the... Wait a minute. What the hell was that? Owens was going th for the tag and CM Punk's out of here. What are we... This is supposed to be a tag team matchup. Kevin Owens and CM Punk versus the Judgment Day. Finn Balor's been tagged in. Kevin Owens down and looking up with the lights. CM Punk leaving Kevin Owens high and dry. I don't even know what to make of this. I know CM Punk wants an opportunity at the WWE Championship, but after being laid out with a South of Heaven last week on Raw, does Punk not want his dividends against the Judgment Day? Kevin Owens is out here now fighting a two-on-one handicap match against the dangerous three-time World Tag Team Champions. This is absolutely ridiculous. CM Punk walking out on this matchup tonight and leaving Kevin Owens to fight alone. Obviously two egos that were bound to clash eventually. Owens trying to survive by any means necessary. A pop-up powerbomb early in this matchup, but Damian Priest with plenty of energy left in the tank. Well, Kevin Owens, this, I, I almost feel bad for the WWE Champion. Forced now to fight alone, to try to think on his feet and turn away Priest and Balor. Already a tall task to begin with, but it just got that much more impossible. Damian Priest may be looking worse for wear. But the thing about it is Damian Priest has Finn Balor, an X Factor on the apron. Kevin Owens is out here fighting alone. CM Punk hightailing it out of the Greensboro Coliseum. 
Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, the issues between CM Punk and Kevin Owens and whatever's going through the mind of the second city, St. CM Punk. Something to talk about in due time, but right now let's just focus on the action at hand. Kevin Owens doing his damnedest to try to take down Damian Priest. Kevin Owens never been afraid of a fight, whether it's a tag team matchup, a handicap, the title's on the line, whether it's not on the line, doesn't matter the circumstances. Owens is gonna tape up his fist and start to swing. But as we mentioned, now forced to try to think on his feet. You know, we said it as CM Punk was walking down the aisle. Obviously, doesn't take a genius to figure it out that CM Punk has won an, an opportunity at the WWE Championship. When he made his return back in Vengeance, he did so damn near reigning on the parade of Kevin Owens. We have seen multiple interactions between those two superstars. And it looks like CM Punk finding himself alongside Kevin Owens tonight saw an opportunity to try to get under the skin of the champion and absolutely took it. What I don't understand is doesn't CM Punk want to get back at the Judgment Day for what they did last week? Or is his desire to be champion that much greater as Kevin Owens survives momentarily? Finn Balor dropping the champion, but Kevin Owens is not looking anywhere near 100%. Talked about the recent battles. Finn Balor one-on-one -on -one two weeks ago. Seth Rollins at the King of the Ring. A physical matchup against Big Brunson Reed last week. And then the ambush by Balor. A hurt WWE Champion is trying to find a way in what is now a two-on-one handicap matchup. Damian Priest brought into the corner. What was supposed to be a corner that housed CM Punk, but now Kevin Owens using it to his advantage with an elevated DDT. And sending one half of the World Tag Team Champions over the top. Partner or not, Owens gonna keep on fighting as he comes off the apron with the senton. It'll certainly be a feather in the cap of the WWE Champion. If he can dig down deep and find a way to turn away the World Tag Team Champions here tonight. Owens up top, frog splash on the Archer of Infamy. But Damian Priest is still alive. A great effort by Kevin Owens, but does he have enough left in his soul tank to outlast two ever running engines in the World Tag Team Champions? Trying to stack up the splashes this time. Another one does not hit. Went to the well too many times. Damian Priest saw it coming. And now a simple sidewalk slam to muscle down the champion. And just like that, the Judgment Day having their way with the face of Monday Night Raw. Priest with a tag made to Balor. Kevin Owens just trying to get his wits about him, but it may be too late. Balor gonna strike. Owens looking up at the lights once again by hands of the Prince of the Judgment Day. Here are your winners, Damian Priest in Well, you better put an asterisk next to it because CM Punk walked out of the WWE Champion tonight. His desire to be WWE Champion obviously trumping his desire to get a measure of revenge on these two gentlemen. A two-on-one handicap victory for the World Tag Team Champions. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, 
and don't miss a second of Velocity. An unfortunate way to kick off Monday Night Raw moments ago, but it is time to determine the first participant in Money in the Bank. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Worcester, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 270 pounds. Done. Well, don't miss Velocity this Wednesday only on TikTok and find out who is going to be the next participant in the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. SmackDown, Shayna Baszler takes on Tegan Knox, and after we find out who takes the first slot later tonight between Tiffany Stratton and Bianca Belair, the second slot to be determined. Scan the QR code, go follow over on TikTok, and don't miss Velocity each and every Wednesday afternoon. But who will be the first on the men's side of the field? Dijak has continued to impress ever since returning to Monday Night Raw in the draft, but he has got a huge opportunity standing across the ring. One-on-one -on -one with the Intercontinental Champion, a Money in the Bank spot hangs in the balance. Well, as Kevin Owens has had his issues with the Judgment Day, so has his best friend, Sami Zayn. Dominic Mysterio has been lurking around the close quarters of the Intercontinental Champion. Cost him a matchup against Seth freaking Rollins two weeks ago. Sami Zayn trying to enact some revenge last week with an ambush on Dominic Mysterio, but you gotta believe the issues are far, far from over. Dominic obviously setting his intentions on the Intercontinental Championship, but tonight Sami Zayn needs to focus on the task at hand. It is a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Who will be the first to punch their ticket to the United Kingdom two weeks from Saturday at Money in the Bank? Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, one on one with Dijak, who has had some great performances ever since returning to Monday Night Raw against Braun Breaker, the megastar LA Knight, Seth freaking Rollins. He has yet to really pick up a victory that sets him down the right path here on Mondays. But I'll tell you, a way to turn some heads is not only to qualify for Money in the Bank, but to do so in the process of a victory over the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn. Dijak would certainly have his head raised high after that. A whole confidence booster it could be. Easier said than done, even when Sami Zayn has had his back against the wall and has gotten knocking down time and time again. He has continued to get up, dust himself off, and prove why he's a worthy champion. But Dijak not interested in what Sami Zayn has done or where he's been and what he's accomplished. Dijak wants his opportunity, wants to be the first of three raw superstars that'll earn an opportunity in Money in the Bank. Three from Raw, three from SmackDown, both on the men's side and the women's side in London, England in just over two weeks' time. Dijak with a massive boot, sending the Intercontinental Champion over the top rope. High stakes, high reward, and Dijak now with the crossbody. And that is what makes that man so dangerous. Size and strength, but also speed and ability. Dijak damn near a full package between the ropes. Sami Zayn is feeling the brunt of it right now. The Intercontinental Champion not looking anywhere near 100%. And another boot. Dijak came in with a plan. He is looking to execute it to its perfection. These big boots are just stacking one after another. The lights may be on, but I don't know if anybody is home. Referee at a count of seven. Sami Zayn trying to shake off the cobwebs and get back between the ropes. Well, nice counter that time. Dijak tried to go low. Sami Zayn grabbing a hold just enough to create a little distance momentarily. 
That was Dijak set over the top rope by hands of the Intercontinental Champion. Sami Zayn saying, anything you can do, I can do better. Talk about strength being shown. Sami Zayn digging down deep on that one. Dropping Dijak right on the hardest part of the ring. He's not done, dropping him with a DDT. Letting the offense begin the stack. And I am sure there is a fire burning within Sami Zayn that wants to get his hands on Dominic Mysterio between the ropes. But as we mentioned tonight, he has got to remain focused on the task at hand. And that is the tall task, literally, of Dijak and a spot to qualify in Money in the Bank. Referee at a count of six once again. A lot of this matchup being wrestled in the outside of the ring, using their surroundings to their advantage. Count of six once more. Dijak never been afraid to head to the top rope. Dijak coming off the top. It looked like he was going for a lariat. I don't think connected with all of it, but got enough to knock the champion down. And Sami Zayn still in this matchup momentarily. That is why Dijak is so dangerous. We have seen him go high risk, high reward a couple of times. And also the strikes, the boots, the elbows right there. One tough SOB. Oh! What the hell? Wait a minute. LA Knight! We haven't seen Knight since he was ambushed in the parking garage several weeks ago. Well, Knight's taking the eye of Dijak off the ball. And wait a minute here. That could be an ever-telling situation. But Sami Zayn stacking up Dijak. He got him. The distraction aids in Sami's victory. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn. We have not seen LA Knight for several weeks. LA Knight said on social media he knew exactly who ambushed him in the backstage area and he was coming for retribution when he is at 100%. Well, LA Knight may have just told us a very significant story, but the story is here that the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn is the first man to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder matchup two weeks from Saturday at the O2 in London, England. Oh, wait a minute. The brawl has ensued at the top of the stage. LA Knight with some fisticuffs for presumably the man who took him out several weeks ago. Off the top of my head here, the only interaction between these two men is LA Knight defeating Dijak back in the king of the ring. And it looks like LA Knight has came for his pound of flesh, a BFT on the steel grate. And I got a feeling this situation has only just begun. Cannot wait till the back half of the summer when the Queen of the Ring tournament kicks off. But we are back live inside the Greensboro Coliseum in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we are set for a little tag team action on behalf of Monday Night Raw's eventful women's division. The unholy union known as Alba Fire and Isla Dawn throwing down the challenge. Bailey pick up the victory over Alba last week. Unfinished business in the mind of the unholy union. You want to talk unfinished business, Liv Morgan took to X earlier today and had this to say. 
Rhea, this isn't over until I draw your blood. It was all about competition until you attacked me time and time again with intent to put me out. I'm coming to end you once and for all and take back the women's title. Liv Morgan with a grudge to settle. The history between her and Rhea Ripley runs deep throughout 2024, and Liv Morgan makes a valid point. Rhea Ripley has left her laying outside of the bells time and time again. The former women's champion obviously has not forgotten. Now we can talk about the WWE Women's Champion Rhea Ripley and Liv Morgan all we want, but there is somebody walking down the aisle right now who has inserted herself in the championship conversations with emphatic force over the last month here on Monday Night Raw. Bailey's record has been to perfection since her Monday Night Raw return. Just last week, picking up the victory over Alba Fire, has earned singles victories over Tiffany Stratton and Piper Niven, and even picked up the pinfall two weeks ago in a massive eight-woman tag team contest. Liv Morgan may want her opportunity at Rhea Ripley, but I think there is another woman in Bailey who wants that same accord. Well, luckily for Liv and Bailey, I think they're going to have better luck putting any egos aside than CM Punk and Kevin Owens did earlier tonight. They did it two weeks ago. They're looking to do it again. Alba Fire and Island wanted the fight. Bailey and Liv not afraid to step up to the challenge. I'll tell you, it's been an exciting night of action so far here in the Greensboro Coliseum on Monday Night Raw as we kick things off in this tag team matchup with Liv Morgan and Alba Fire. You gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Liv when it comes to Rhea Ripley in the women's title. She goes back at Vengeance in May, the trilogy fight of 2024. Liv Morgan, unfortunately, coming up short to the nightmare. Rhea Ripley, Rhea winning the women's championship back and bringing it to the close quarters of the Judgment Day. Liv having an opportunity to win back the gold less than two weeks ago in New Orleans, Louisiana at the King of the Ring. But of course, I was a part of a triple threat matchup along with the EST, Bianca Belair. Liv Morgan unable to get the victory on that night. However, was not pinned in the triple threat matchup. Oh man, out the fire. Showing some fire, taking out Bailey and took out Liv Morgan momentarily for her troubles. Oof. Fire and Dawn threw out the challenge to Bailey and a partner tonight. Obviously not looking for that open challenge to come up short. Alba had a great showing last week against Bailey one on one. Did not get the victory she so desired. Looking for a different result tonight, but Bailey looking to keep her momentum at an all time high. Big time Saido moments ago. I'm sure Rhea Ripley has got her eyes on this contest. Wherever she is here in the building, I'm sure hanging out in the Judgment Day clubhouse but I'm sure it's all smiles after what happened earlier tonight. Rhea Ripley knows Bailey has been red hot since her Monday Night Raw return. Rhea has heard the words of Liv Morgan on social media. With the money in the bank looming as well, the champion's got to be feeling a little bit nervous. The challenger's trying to come at any and all angles. All remains to be seen who is going to be the next to get the crack at Rhea Ripley for the women's title, but right now, Bailey is in deep trouble of seeing her momentum go up in smoke. Fire and Dawn would not have thrown out this challenge if they did not believe they had what it takes to keep down two former women's champions. Now Dawn has only seen so much action since her Monday Night Raw emergence back on the season premiere. The first Raw of the season in Madison Square Garden. Burn Alba Fire, some history in NXT. Alba making her debut back in the month of November, once challenging Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship herself. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn trying to make some waves all over again here on the red brand. It could come at the expense of two women who might have their minds set on the future, trying to fight Rhea Ripley for the gold. Oh! Bailey coming off the apron with a big time forearm. Bailey and Liv Morgan successful in that eight-woman tag team matchup a number of weeks ago. Standing alongside Cora Jade and Bianca Belair, picking up the victory over Tiffany Stratton, Piper Niven, Chelsea Green, and Sonya Deville. 
Now Bailey and Liv look to do it again. All of the hopes of putting their name in number one contendership conversation. Bailey to belly. Unfortunately, out of the fire, breaking up the fall. If it wasn't for Alba, Isla may be looking up at the lights for good. The same maneuver that put down Alba Fire last week. Now Liv Morgan tagged in, unfortunately, unable to change the momentum of this matchup. Fire and Dawn coming to make some waves. Still so much action to come here on Monday Night Raw tonight as we approach the Money in the Bank event. Two weeks from Saturday, live July 13th from the O2 Arena in London, England. Who will be the first to qualify for the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup? We're going to find out later tonight with a buff bar be Tiffany Stratton takes on the EST of the WWE, Bianca Belair. Of course, this Wednesday on Velocity, the first SmackDown spot in the Money in the Bank will be determined. Shayna Baszler one-on-one -on -one with Tegan Knox in a qualifier matchup. Velocity each and every Wednesday over on TikTok. Now Liv Morgan with Alba Fire. Nice tilt to World taking her down here on Raw. Alba tagged in. Looking to change the trajectory of this matchup. Liv Morgan with the different plans. Code Breaker! But a little bit close to enemy territory. Isla Dawn not going to allow a three count here. A boot by Alba. Gotta give credit to this unholy union. They are hanging in there as Liv and Bailey have thrown some of their best so far in the Greensboro Coliseum. Liv Morgan looking worse for wear right now. You know, we briefly touched on it earlier, but Liv and Bailey better have their minds focused on this matchup. As much as Liv may want to finish things up with Rhea Ripley and beat her for the women's championship once and for all, get that payback for weeks of attacks leading up to the King of the Ring and even before Vengeance. Liv Morgan's got to keep her mind on this matchup here and now with Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. And same thing goes for Bailey. Somebody who has yet to challenge for the Women's Championship, but ever since All-Star Raw, when she made her return, has turned away any and all challenges. Bailey's got to keep that momentum up. He's got to hope that Liv Morgan's mind is on the right path here tonight. We're still to come tonight on Raw as well. For the first time since Saturday night, May the 4th, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, steps inside a WWE ring with plans to address the ever-looming issues between the Judgment Day and his family, the Usos and Solo Sokoa. Three superstars who have not been seen since the Judgment Day got their hands on them in individual occasions. Roman Reigns back here on Monday Night Raw later tonight. Isla Dawn tagged in, Liv Morgan in trouble. Down she goes, and that may be all she wrote. Bailey breaking things up. The unholy union did not come to play games tonight. Liv and Bailey feeling the brunt of their best offense. Liv desperately trying to create some distance here. This may go to show you where Liv and Bailey's mindsets have been. Can't be focusing on Rhea Ripley. Got to focus on fire and dawn. Down goes Al Alba, excuse me. And an oblivion. Isla Dawn may be seeing stars. But she's got enough left in the tank to get the shoulder off the canvas. Appreciation being shown by this capacity audience in the Greensboro Coliseum. Bailey now looking to stack the offense with a rose plant. Got to keep her eyes and behind her though. Alba Fire is still on her feet. Bailey and Liv got to be racking their brains. They have thrown their best shots, but Fire and Dawn watching each other's back as if their lives depend on it. Fire taken down momentarily. Isla trying to sneak attack. Nobody to be found. Bailey and Liv trying to close this matchup, but if the Unholy Union are going to get back into it, it is now or never. Down in the corner goes Isla. Bailey going for a boot. Nobody to be found. Isla behind once again. Down goes one of the opposers into the cover and another kick out. And these four women giving each other a fight here tonight on Raw. 
Bailey and Liv hungry for an opportunity against Rhea Ripley. The Unholy Union trying to make some waves and start down the, night, the right path here on Monday Night Raw. Each and every victory can deem success and put you down the right momentum trajectory. Liv tagged in, Liv going for another code breaker. Work it out in her favor. Not going for the cover just yet. Liv may be looking for an oblivion, something to put the exclamation point on this matchup. Now the fire, just dishing it right back. And another kick out by Liv. Yeah, we got a barn burner on behalf of these two tag teams participating tonight at the Greensboro Coliseum. Down goes Isla Dawn. Alba trying to throw a shot at Bailey, not to be found. And now Luthez on Liv. Every time you think Liv and Bailey are going to bring this matchup to a close, the Unholy Union hanging on by a thread. Going for the springboard. Nobody to be found. And a nice kick. A knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Goes for the double boots in the corner. I don't think she got all of it, but got enough. Fire and Dawn scratch, scratching and clawing in this contest, to say the least. Alba prime position. Down goes Isla. And a second oblivion delivered by Liv Morgan. And certainly a much deserved victory after a hard fought tag team bout. Bailey and Liv trying to set their sights on Rhea Ripley and the WWE Women's title. The Unholy Union playing a roadblock tonight and a tough one. But Bailey and Liv survive a physical fight. Here are your winners. The Liv Morgan and Bailey. Bailey's momentum continues to rise. Liv Morgan will not stay down. Who will be next to challenge the nightmare for the WWE Women's title? We want to take you back to earlier tonight. CM Punk walking out on what was supposed to be a tag team matchup against the World Tag Team Champions of the Judgment Day. Damian Priest and Finn Balor reaping the benefits of this occasion, picking up the victory over the WWE Champion Kevin Owens. CM Punk obviously with intentions to challenge KO, drawing a line in the sand. Owens so furious that we can now confirm he has granted CM Punk his wish. Coming up two weeks from Saturday in London, England, the WWE Championship will be on the line. The second city saint played his cards right. He got under the skin of Kevin Owens and now they go to war. CM Punk. Kevin Owens for the WWE Championship Saturday night, July the 13th at Money in the Bank. A crazy turn of events here tonight on Raw. CM Punk drawing a line in the sand. His intentions clear coming after Kevin Owens WWE title. And there is still action on hand as the Greensboro Coliseum gets to indulge in the phenomenal one. And his opponent, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ. Well, the OC's mindset has been on one thing, get back in the winning ways here on Monday Night Raw. All three of these gentlemen suffering some big time losses as of late. AJ Styles with a victory over Ashanta the Adonis not too long ago. Now looking to continue that stretch against Cedric Alexander here in Cedric's home state of North Carolina. Cedric looking to give the Phenomenal One a fight, but the OC laser focused on reclimbing the ranks of Monday Night Raw. All remains to be seen if their mission is to be accomplished.
It has been one interesting night here on Raw already. Bailey and Liv Morgan setting their sights on Rhea Ripley's women's title. LA Knight back here for the first time in weeks targeting Dijak, seemingly the man who put him on the shelf in that parking garage all those weeks ago. Sami Zayn qualifying for Money in the Bank. AJ Styles taking it to the outside. Cedric Alexander, however, what a turn of events. Taking out Gallows and Anderson. Well, Cedric from right here in North Carolina. We're here in Greensboro tonight. He's from the hometown of Charlotte. But Cedric looking to return to NC with victory on his mind. Taking down the phenomenal one, Tornado DDT. A man who this time last year was on the cusp of becoming the Intercontinental Champion, Alexander, same intentions, looking to reclimb the ranks here on Monday Night Raw. AJ Styles could not have been expecting this fight. Styles looking worse for wear, looking a bit dazed and confused. Cedric taking him off the soles of his boots. Cedric better keep his eye on the ball. Cannot let the OC's presence at ringside Play an X Factor. Gallows and Anderson knocked down momentarily. I don't know if that was a wise choice. It was an exciting one. But it might have just gotten under the skin of the OC as now AJ Styles. Sunset flip on Cedric Alexander. Looking for the victory, not just yet. And what about the news we found out moments ago? CM Punk and Kevin Owens and all those strange exchanges between the two gentlemen. Are they friends? Are they foes? Their egos bound to collide. Well, finally, they are gonna one-on-one -on -one for the WWE Championship. CM Punk saw an opportunity and he took it earlier tonight. Now Kevin Owens, so fired up, so furious that CM Punk threw him to the wolves. Said, you want the WWE Championship match? I'll give it to you in London. One-on-one -on -one at Money in the Bank. Punk and Owens for the gold. Certainly gonna be a highly anticipated collision coming up two weeks from Saturday. Meanwhile, here tonight, AJ Styles with Cedric primed and ready to strike with a Styles Clash. The phenomenal one continuing to look better than ever. The OC's blueprint reads victory. AJ Styles exacting on that here tonight. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok, the superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Money in the Bank has been a great topic of discussion here tonight on Raw. We know Sami Zayn punched his ticket to the United Kingdom to be the first participant in the men's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. But who will be the first to qualify for the women's field? Of course, this Wednesday on Velocity, SmackDown has their chance to make a mark. Tonight on Raw, Tiffany Stratton, Bianca Belair racing to the finish line. Who will qualify for London, England? The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Prior Lake, Minnesota, Tiffany. The Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, no stranger to challenging for championship gold. She took on Liv Morgan during her reign at the top of the division several months ago. But Tiffany Stratton is looking for her coming out party in 2024 and taking down the Money in the Bank briefcase, certainly a way to do so. <laughs> Hey. 
Tiffany Stratton looking for her coming out party. Bianca Belair looking for a bounce back victory. A heartbreaking loss to the Nightmare Rhea Ripley in the midst of that triple threat two weeks ago at King of the Ring. Bianca obviously looking to get back in the championship contention. And what better way to do so by taking down the briefcase when the lights are on bright in the O2 Arena two weeks from Saturday. Bianca Belair this time two years ago was on top of the world as the WWE Women's Champion. But ever since then she has been looking for her way back to the top. Money in the bank could put Bianca in prime position to win gold once again. Well, moments before Roman Reigns makes his eventful return to Monday Night Raw, we have a main event clash on hand. Tiffany Stratton, Bianca Belair in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. And Bianca coming hot out of the gate. Obviously fired up after that loss at King of the Ring, but Bianca has got to be careful not to be overzealous tonight and not let that furious and frustration get the best of her. Bianca was picking up some great momentum here on Monday Night Raw. Challenged Rhea Ripley for the Women's Championship last month in her hometown of Knoxville, Tennessee. Rhea Ripley, I'll bite, escaped that matchup with a countout victory over Bianca. EST. Continue to make her presence felt alongside Liv Morgan earned her opportunity for King of the Ring two weeks ago in New Orleans. And I don't care who you are, nobody is surviving the chaos of a triple threat matchup stacked with not one but two riptides that were delivered by Rhea on that night. Bianca looking to bounce back tonight. So far, so good. Tiffany Stratton feeling the brunt of this attack. And Bianca is not slowing down for anybody. A fire burning within the EST tonight that Tiffany Stratton may struggle to extinguish. Only one of these Monday Night Raw superstars can make their way to the O2 in London. Bianca trying to ensure early on in this contest that that spot belongs to her. Over the top rope, taking down the buff Barbie. Tiffany Stratton hoping that the clock is going to strike Tiffy time tonight. Bianca Belair saying not on her watch. The EST is not letting up. Back-to-back -back losses to Rhea Ripley in frustrating matters. Bianca's got to be feeling some type of way coming into this Money in the Bank qualifier. This Wednesday on Velocity SmackDown. We'll see Shayna Baszler and Tegan Knox battling it out for what at that point will be the second slot in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Who will take the first? Three from Raw and three from SmackDown. Will do battle every woman for herself. Bianca Belair looking to secure that slot in London, England. Tiffany Stratton with a well-timed sidestep on Bianca Belair. The knee for the EST's troubles. And I think Tiffany may be focusing on trying to slow down this matchup as Bianca Belair's own momentum sending her to the outside. Tiffany looking to turn the tables now. Stratton suicide dive. Take it out, Bianca. Well, Tiffany Stratton never been afraid for the high risk, high reward scenarios inside or outside of the squared circle. The former gymnast, so talented inside of the squared circle. Now Tiffany looking to make her mark here on Monday Night Raw, has certainly climbed the ranks and made her star felt over the last few months. But the big time victories where it counts is what has eluded Tiffany Stratton so far in her young career here on the Red Brand. Qualifying for Money in the Bank certainly a way to make her star felt more than ever. Taking down Bianca upon a reemergence back inside the ring. Another mood salt that time by Tiffany into the cover. Not even a one count was to be that time. When I look at Bianca, ever resilient and great wherewithal to try to muscle down Tiffany Stratton. Not to be that time, both of these women so strong with Bianca Belair, well known as the strongest, the fastest, the toughest in the WWE. Bianca heading to the top, dropping an elbow right to the heart. 
and damn well be to the hopes and dreams for Tiffany to qualify for Money in the Bank. Tiffany Stratton may be an extraordinary talent, but I don't know if she's got the fire within her that Bianca Belair has brought to the table tonight. Those losses to Rhea Ripley has awoken something inside the EST that we have not seen in quite some time. Tiffany Strat is fighting for survival in this Money in the Bank qualifier. Bianca Belair with the spine buster into the cover. Not to be was victory that time. And Bianca has controlled the majority of this matchup so far. Tiffany Strider with some great glimmers of hopes. There's another one right there off the reversal. Stratton showing her strength. They call her the Buff Barbie for nothing, not just a cute nickname. Tiffany Stratton proving to be a all-around talent. And Bianca Belair gonna have to find a way to shake the cobwebs off as Stratton is now not only turning the tables in this matchup, but completely turning Bianca on her head. Just ragged on Bianca in the corner. Tiffany Stratton slowing down the pace, but also getting a little bit of her hands dirty. A pair of boots right to the heart of Bianca. And just like that, Tiffany Stratton may be becoming the favorite to qualify for Money in the Bank. And a reversal. Now she goes again. Another counter by Tiffany. And takes her down, trying to roll her up here. Too close from the ropes. Unfortunately, Tiffany Stratton a little naive with her ring awareness that time. Bianca rolling to the outside. For the first time in this matchup, the pace has truly slowed down for the EST. You saw her trying to dictate it. Off the opening bell. Came directly at Tiffany Stratton and continued to Continue that fire throughout the matchup. Tiffany Stratton has not only taken the wind out of Bianca's sails, but is now having her way with her opponent. Into the barricade again. Big time counter by Bianca. And making a dose as Tiffany Stratton is sent right into the barricade. And Bianca going for a shooting star. Tiffany getting the knees up. Referees at a count of six, but these two women are brawling away on the outskirts of the squared circle. Bianca down and out momentarily. Tiffany Stratton is not done inflicting punishment. Wait a minute. Stacking up Bianca on the outside. Tiffany back inside the ring. You got to be kidding me. And an unfortunate count out loss once again plagues Bianca Belair's road to victory. Tiffany Stratton escaping the EST to steal away the spot in London. Here is your winner, Tiffany Stratton. That is an unfortunate, tough loss for Bianca Belair. I expect nothing less from Tiffany Stratton, but she found a way to win regardless of how she did it. And Tiffany punches her ticket to the United Kingdom at money in the bank. We are live next week at 5 p.m. Eastern time for our Great American Bash edition of Raw. CM Punk might have escaped a tag team matchup earlier tonight, but there is no running from Big Bronson Reed. Punk, Reed, one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever next week. The Judgment Day hanging their hat on victory at the top of the hour. But will they be able to get through the veterans, the Hall of Famers, the Dudley Boys, when the World Tag Team titles are on the line, live in Washington, D.C.? Who will join Tiffany Stratton and a SmackDown superstar yet to be determined? Next week, Chelsea Green meets a mystery opponent in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup at the Great American Bash. And there has been some looming issues between the Harbinger of Doom carrying cross and the badass Braun Breaker. Ones that we will break down in detail next week. But these two men, bound to explode. They go one-on-one -on -one in a Money in the Bank qualifier seven nights from tonight on Raw.
And you want to talk about ever looming issues? Next week, who will be the last woman standing? Liv Morgan gets one more opportunity to settle the score with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. The WWE Women's Championship is on the line in a no disqualifications, no count out, last woman standing matchup live next week at the Great American Bash edition of Raw at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. But for the first time since Saturday night, May the 4th at SmackDown's Battleground, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, is back. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What the hell? It's Roman Reigns and... Wait a minute, that's Seth freaking Rollins! Rollins ambushing Roman Reigns in the backstage area, bringing him out to the arena! A curb stomp on the concrete! What the hell is this all about? Roman Reigns here to address the situation between the Judgment Day, the Usos, and Solo Sokoa is that ever-looming partnership, friendship, if you call it just that, between Rollins and the Judgment Day, the difference maker here tonight. The Judgment Day may have been feeling the walls starting to close in, and it looks like they called upon a man who knows Roman Reigns better than he knows himself. This is absolutely ridiculous actions by the visionary.